Are the Chiefs ripe for the picking? Are is this the worst Chiefs team that's been to the Super Bowl? Well, I I, th- I think when you add in the injuries, they have some major injuries on this team. Grant, two key defensive linemen are out for the season. Uh, Derek Nadi was a guy who really helped them in the run game. Big guy up the middle. He's out. And this is a team that already struggles stopping the run. Charles Amenahu, rotational player. We know all about him. He was suspended the first six games, I believe, of this season. Still had a very, very productive year. Big loss for them. Torn ACL. Then you've got Joe Tooney on the other end, who is their best offensive lineman. He's been on many Super Bowl teams with the Pats and then also the Chiefs. Very good player. He's now probably not going to play. And this team isn't as explosive as they have been in the past. So for me, again, sometimes things line up to your benefit. And that's what's happening with the 49ers. I'm not saying that the 49ers are absolutely going to win because of these things. But the Chiefs are about as ripe for the picking as they're going to get. If you can't beat Patrick Mahomes now with seemingly no weapons, Kelsey who's aging, an offensive line that's missing their best player, a defense that's missing two very key players on the defensive line. Are you ever going to beat Patrick Mahomes? Is it possible? Buffalo couldn't do it. The Ravens couldn't do it. Two very good teams with very good quarterbacks. The 49ers can't do it. I don't know know if it's ever going to be done. Like This guy might not ever lose a Super Bowl again. I don't know how you bet against Patrick Mahomes ever if they win this Super Bowl. So, I think they're about as ripe for the picking as they can be uh, with having a guy like Patrick Mahomes at the helm and Andy Reid as the head coach. Yeah, you figure like this is the weakest version of them they're going to be. Next year, they'll be better. I mean, yeah. whenever I think of the Chiefs from the season, I just think of Mahomes being really frustrated, coming mm-hmm. off the field, punting, yelling at someone. Mm-hmm. And they haven't done that in a few weeks. But yeah, like they are missing a lot of players. It doesn't seem like you'll have a better opportunity to beat him. So this, this would be the year still. They still seem really good. I mean, what they've done in the AFC playoffs, going on the road, beating those teams is extraordinary. They, they've been much more dominant in the playoffs than the Niners have been so far. Oh, they've been more impressive. I mean, the path to, to get here, first of all, they had to play three games. They were never, I mean, none of those games were ever in doubt. When were, When did you ever think that the Bills were going to win that game, the Ravens or or Miami were going to win those games. Never. Mm-mm. Never. Once the mm-hmm. game started, it was like, okay, the Chiefs are the better team. And, and somehow, they did it this last week without all the guys I mentioned. And Willie Gay didn't play. And he's their disguise or, or, or their guy that they deploy against running quarterbacks. He's the spy. He went out against the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen, they were still able to contain him for the most part. They were still able to contain Lamar Jackson, and now he should be back. The other guys are still going to be out, but he should be back now. I mean, man, th- this team is very good, and defensively, they're going to be in the game. It's going to be a close game, and if Patrick Mahomes gets the ball last, I don't, I don't like that at all. I do not like the 49ers' chances if Patrick Mahomes has a chance to go win a game with the ball in his hands. That's a disaster. So hopefully the 49ers can spread this game out get about a 10-point lead, and then hopefully ride it to victory. Make it 11. I, I don't like question. 10 for Shanahan. I got Go a ahead. bonus question since I'm a jerk. Yeah. Are the 49ers <laughs> like for the picking? Like, it seems like they're walking into this Super Bowl with the weakest defense they've had in a while. I expect they're going to fix this defense. They're going to get Talanoa back next year. It'll be Steve Wilk's second year with the team. But right now, they can't stop the run at all. It's concerning, and this the Chiefs can run the ball. I feel like that's a big vulnerability that the Niners normally don't have. Maybe, maybe, but I don't know that that necessarily improves next year. But what I can say is this is the healthiest team I think I've ever seen from the 49ers this deep into the playoffs. This team is extremely healthy, and this offense is very, very good. You've got four mm-hmm. players on this offense, Grant, 
that went for over a thousand yards. I mean, that is something that may never be done again. I mean, that's extremely hard to do and they did it. So is this offense going to be better next year? I, I don't know about that. So for me, I don't know that they're ripe for the picking. You're as healthy as you can get right now. It's true. Eric Armstead isn't quite himself. True. Chase Young, maybe they'll have someone better than him next year. Maybe they'll have someone better than Ambry Thomas next year. But other than that, this is their team. Yeah, and there's no there's no guarantees on that. There are no guarantees that you are better on, on those positions. Grant, I, I want to say this. I, I don't. I doubt you remember because I didn't remember. But remember before the season where we were doing our bold predictions? Mm -hmm. You remember that show? Okay. Mm -hmm. One of the bold predictions I had at the time was Kittle, CMC, Ayuk, and Debo would all go over 1,000 yards. And they did. Somebody they pointed did. that out to me. I didn't remember that. But uh, shout out to you for pointing that out. <laughs> Good job. Thank you for getting it right.